Okay, so I paused the video again there because as it turns out, I had the app, but I had to update it. I got a new app. So, uh, you can see here that it says add a printer. So, what it says here is once you have the mobile app, to say add a printer, and then set up new printer, and then choose Replicator Plus, and then the printer is on, it tells you remove, oh actually it says have your Wi-Fi password handy, remove the orange packing slips, yeah, which I've, those are those clips that I removed, and it also actually shows you, it's showing me video here of it you know, plugging it in, turning it on, all this stuff, and it actually shows to remove this foam beneath the uh, the foam beneath the build plate. And I'm also it didn't specifically say to, but I'm removing uh, there's a couple small pieces of orange tape here that don't seem to be uh, very important there. So printer is on. And then, ah, so it says ready to pair. And so what the printer is doing is creating a Wi-Fi hotspot that's going to connect with the app. I've had that experience with one other 3D printer that I've reviewed. It was the Polar 3D. Um, that Polar 3D printer, very impressive for only, uh, I think it was like $599 printer. Um, created its own Wi-Fi hotspot as well for you to connect with it and then you would you know get it set up for your own Wi-Fi network so it's doing the same thing and then it says hotspot is active and there we go connecting to the printers hotspot Wi-Fi settings and it says return to the app once connected. Hmm. Oh, so I'm supposed to ah, I'm supposed to go out now to my Wi-Fi settings is what I'm supposed to do. And choose the MakerBot setup network and connect to it. And then once I do, now I go back to the MakerBot app, which I've done. And it's saying the phone is authenticating to the printer. It's pairing with it. And then, well, the phone is now paired. Okay, name the printer. Okay, we'll give it a name. Just go through this process here. Call it um, WTFFFMB plus, if it lets me. Should. Continue. Great. Choose a Wi-Fi network. Now this one's going to be complex because my Wi-Fi SSID is hidden. Uh, so I won't tell you what that is. Surprise, surprise. I always hate it when I do this because I have one of the longest stinking passwords for my home Wi-Fi network. So now it's connecting and it is connected. I got it all right on the first try. Okay, now it says begin calibration. So it'll let me push the button here to do it, but I'm going to do it from the mobile app. Begin calibration and oh, upgrade firmware. This happens a lot of the time. So it's detected there's a new version of the firmware for this printer and I should upgrade it. So I'm going to do it from the phone, say upgrade and see what happens I don't see much happening hmm well would be nice if it said that it was doing something um, well it wants to go through calibration now it's interesting nothing has told me to install Smart Extruder Plus yet. So I haven't done that. Uh, nothing's happening. So I'm going to say begin calibration. See what it says here. Calibrate printer now attach the Smart Extruder. This is very interesting. You can see here on the app that it's showing a video of attaching the Smart Extruder Plus to the printer. So the app is, makes this actually fairly, uh, fairly easy here. 
to understand what you're supposed to do. So I'm going to unwrap the Smart Extruder Plus that came with it. It's like I've got a piece of orange tape I need to remove. And it's another little plastic cover and then attach the Smart Extruder. So. <clears throat> There you go. That was easy. Now Smart Extruder attached. This is really interesting. So I'm seeing that both on the LCD display of the 3D printer and on the mobile app, I'm getting the same instructions. And so I can do it, I can tell it from the app, or I can just push the button here. So um, I'm telling it to continue and calibrate. Start calibration. So it's going to go through and heat up the smart extruder to calibrate. I know from experience that um, when it calibrates, like when you know, whenever you're going to recalibrate the build plate to the nozzle, is really what that is. Leveling the bed is another word for it. On the MakerBot 3D printers, it would make me unload the filament from the nozzle from the extruder before it goes and calibrates so uh, I knew not to bother you know trying to load that filament in so and it's telling me here just like on the LCD it's telling me that it's going to heat up to 180 degrees Celsius before it calibrates and it's telling me on the mobile app the same thing in terms of the whoops let's see where I get that in terms of the temperature so, pretty neat how it's all connected. So we'll let that heat up and calibrate and uh, I'm going to pause briefly and then be right back.